<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? So Andy's today. Here he is. Yeah, we just brought a vapor back. Andy felt terrible for me falling down the hill, so he invited, <laughs> <laughs> invited me round. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, help fix that some of the scenes. That was a pretty sorry looking photo that you sent me. <laughs> Just a heap on the floor. <laughs> Falling down a hill with a mountain bike on my head. Reminds me of the days of um, Neil when we did all that crazy stuff. Uh, yeah. I do love a hill, but um, yeah, it's, it's more fun when the bike's working. So yeah, we're going to jump on the settings today. Disclaimer. Like anyone who's thinking of copying the settings, because these phase runners are not plug and play, get asked that question quite a lot, don't we? And yeah. uh, they're really not. So we're not taking responsibility for anyone copying the settings, but we are going to show some of them on the screen. So do it at your own risk. If you've got a Bafang motor similar to mine and a phase runner, by all means, check the numbers out, but we're taking no responsibility whatsoever for yeah. anything going bang or not working. It's mainly because well, like there's no sensors, there's no hall sensors in that in these Bafang motors. So, or well, this particular one, like this M620, you can't, you know, there's no way of doing it. So you have to kind of run it in sensorless mode, and it just the settings need to be specific. Otherwise, it just won't work. And it's a lot of tweaking. Every motor is different. Right? Yeah. Just, yeah. So it's it's a custom thing, isn't it? It's it's it's, not, it's definitely not a plug and play thing. No, so not plug and play at all. Do it with your own knowledge or at your own peril, 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 peril. 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 Do it, do it at your own risk anyway, so yeah. We'll, we'll show you some of the settings as we go. I think I think you think this might be a 72 volt setup we might have put on by mistake. It was a 72 volt like setting or map, if you want to call it Yeah, a map. Map, um, map or whatever you call it. But I did yeah. just change like the voltage cut off and things like that. I think I did some tweaking when I, um, on my one, I did some tweaking to get it to run right on, on 60 volts. Mm. Or, well, it's not 60 volts, it's like um, 14 cell. Lifting. So you, you've gone through this whole process yourself of having different settings that have kind of not worked and you've tweaked with and eventually got to a point where it's you know pretty usable and alright yeah. so yeah it's just getting it to that stage really hopefully. Yeah, they definitely seem to be more reliable on 72 volts I will say that because I, I never had any problems with cutting out on 72 volts it was like bonkers like the power is insane but you know, 60 volt is enough, like, or 52 volt battery is enough for this setup, definitely. Someone actually commented on actually on the last video saying that they thought like the bike, couldn't, the motor couldn't handle 72 volts, which I was like, that. it definitely motors can. can. Yeah, definitely. Motor can. Motors typically can. Probably handle, handle like 200 volts, really, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, 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 it's the wattage, isn't it? Yeah. That's the thing. Wattage yeah. and the RPM don't want to like melt you. Just want usability. Usability. Yeah. Um, they go well on, on 50 C. Yeah. 60 volt for each other. We'll see when this is done. Yeah. <laughs> well, Alright, let's do it. Let's get to it. Look at this. Very, very professional <laughs> setup now. Next to the nice PA. So how do you connect the phase runner to the laptop? So I'll take it as a USB cable. Yeah, so What's you've that? got this is the this is the, the program lead for the phase runner. It's the same lead they use. Just a USB A or whatever you call it, isn't it? It's just a yeah, it's yeah, just, just a USB, USB serial um, that breaks out in a what's that an audio box? Is that just your oh that's, that's some because sort of the Apple fucking thing. laptop is like got one right, stupid that's nothing port. to do with it. That's just an Apple thing. It's just an Apple thing. Right, yeah. and the other end, what sort of cable is it that goes in it? I don't even see in it. It's like an audio cable, like a head oh like a jack. Yeah, like a little jack cable. You can thing. make those leads, um, but why would you want to? Yeah, if you, if you can't be bothered to pay whatever they <laughs> charge for. Right, yeah, so this is the current settings. Yeah, so my, all this all this top bit, motor parameters, this is what we've got from basically doing the auto-tune process at the beginning. Remember when we did the oh, thing? Oh, really? Oh, so it's not all just the map that's just stuck on some of it, it's actually... Sensed. Sensed. Oh, well, no, so. we, do, we did use one that I'd already kind of got, didn't I? Um, anyway. We've got 2,500 watts power, because that's kind of what we were saying was... Yeah, it sounds about an optimal amount, it's not too much. The it? max for that battery before you start blowing the battery oh, that up. that sounds fine. Yeah. Um, and phase current, 80 amps, which is kind of fine. Regen, you don't really get regen braking on this setup because you've got a free wheel. I'm not, yeah, I'm not bothered about regen braking. It won't work, so because it 
it's not yeah it's, it's not going to exactly charge the battery up for um and then we got so it kind of all it fills these units. settings out max battery current um i'm not sure if this records the mouse actually it might do um max regen current forget about that regen voltage and all these sort of things so low voltage cut is set really low but we're going to just rely on the battery's low voltage cut off which may be a bad thing <laughs> but it's probably better to just let the con let the battery oh, decide. Oh, that's when it's right when you go when it's gone flat. Right? The BMS on the battery will generally be a lot lower than you would set if you set the controller's low cut off. Right. Okay. Um, but we're not really going to care about I'm that. I'm not going to ride around on 19 volts probably nah. anyway. So it's all good. The thing with this, the thing with that is, if you go so low, the battery will just turn off and you'll never be able to get it back on again unless you plug the charger in. So right. there is advantages for doing it the other way. Anyway, so all's looking sort of fine, apart from um, we haven't got any free electronic free wheeling set on because this motor and this setup is not ideal. So if you're going to think about doing this, it's not ideal at all because you've got a motor that is got no hall sensors and you're using a controller that is running in sensorless mode. So it means your startup is going to be super rough. And you might be able to make that a bit better, but you're never going to cure the kind of d -d 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 yeah. like that you're going to get right at the beginning. Could it be improved somewhat? Yeah, it can, but you'll be sitting here all day. I mean, you can borrow this lead and fiddle with it if you want. Because um, it, it, you know, it, you just have to f fiddle around with it for a long time to, to get it better, and you might not get it better. Um, so, so that's how that works. Um, and what we have is we we have got another problem here where it it triggers a phase over current and that's what you're seeing when it cuts out and you're going up a hill it's like it just it just oh, cuts so out the, which so that which field is that on here that's it's a combination of all of these settings here so what i generally do is just turn this current regulator bandwidth up right so that's on 2500 and you can maybe increase that um, a little higher and um, see if it helps, and then you've got you know PLL bandwidth, okay. and you can just kind of increase. I have a clue what any of those. Increase these numbers. Basically, Grin have just advised, you know, when I was talking to them before, they said just increase these numbers. And so to get that right, really, what you've got to do is got a hill over there, take you? it out and, and try fiddling around. Mm. But what I wanted to first do is just turn on the freewheeling because. Electronic free wind is that thing you remember we were talking about the juddering where it goes da -da 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 right at the beginning. Mm. You can kind of get that if you come off the throttle and the bike's rolling because the motor loses its position. The controller needs to almost know when it first senses, because you've got no hall sensors in there, when it first senses where the where the actual position of the you know the windings of the motor are and everything. It knows where it's at and it can restart quickly so if you have electronic freewheeling on it basically means that the motor is always turning so the controller always knows mm. where it is so you can add like a little bit of power and you can do it in um in torque on here uh, torque and amps so you can see we're just turning up the the um the current here and i'd put on maybe like you know I don't know, so like that's five amps electronic like freewheeling current yeah you're because what out. happens is is if if it becomes more than five amps like if it can't hit its five amps, it'll probably just cut. It'll just, it just turns off. So what you'll feel like, you know, if you were to set that to maybe like 30 amps of current, you'll take your finger off the throttle and the bike will just carry on going. You'll be like, ah, I can't stop it. Right. So you'd have to put on the brakes and then because you'd get a, a lot of load on the motor, then it would it would basically just, you know, stop. So, so I'll just have it on why? five amps or something like that, just to, it might need to be a bit more, but five amps just to, What about know, going seven then? <laughs> yeah, I mean, put it, put it on, put it on ten. I think ten is not, ten is not a lot. Actually, yeah, let's, let's try and do things that be actually, a nice. You can only difference. do it to five. It only lets you do it. To oh, four. right. So, so that's kind of fine. We'll do that. And that's the equivalent of four point seven newton meters of torque. Um, I'm going to turn your phase, that phase current, uh, the field weakening down a little bit, because from experience, that is something that cuts. What does that help with? That is, I mean, your field weakening is the thing that kind of increases the top end of the motor so mm. like but it can be a hindrance to the other settings because it can Take cause from. that cutting out problem um, and if we knock our 
if we knock our um, current regulator up to is it let's just knock it up a thousand it's going to like three thousand yeah I was going to say a noticeable thing because if it's noticeable you sometimes you won't notice a difference you're like oh is that you made much know. difference you won't notice really no so you just change the current regulator bandwidth to three and a half thousand from two and a half thousand yeah so what have we changed so far you've you've, you've allowed um, done current regulator bandwidth up thousands up um, a thousand and I've put on ele- I've turned on electronic free wheeling. wheeling current was that not on at all so now that's oh that's a free wheeling feature that wasn't on that's on five amps yeah and oh that was a free wheel so just them two settings really those two settings moment. yeah anything else the PLL DL, PLL bandwidth PLL damping PLL damping no we'll leave those for now I think what we're going to have to do is take this out with the laptop yeah yeah and sort yeah. of yeah try and <laughs> Beat boffins in the park. Yeah. Program. <laughs> well, the sun's out, mate. At least it's stopped raining. So. Yeah, that's good. It's looking glorious <laughs> outside. What you could do is grab this even... cable round and tuck it, tuck it through the holder. If you're comfortable with holding the laptop as you're riding it, it would make not it really. a lot easier. No, not really. No, it's Because <laughs> then you'll see what the faults <laughs> are. Well, unless I take an empty backpack and literally throw it in the backpack, but I'm not right, holding no, it whilst I'm trying to sh- ride. When you shut it, it's gonna. Turn off. Well, it's probably, probably big enough to have it open in the laptop and carefully accelerate. It's better than holding a MacBook Pro or whatever that is with one hand uh-huh. whilst I'm accelerating off road on a mountain bike. Oh, I don't mind, I'll do it. I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going out because, lucky for us, there's a nice big park over the road. So, this is what I'm talking about the electronic freewheeling and the start up there. If you, for the start up, this is what will happen. You get that sort of like crunchy sound. That? Yeah. It will start. And then it's just brutal. So that's it. My hand, my fist, I'm off the throttle now. That's electronic free wheel. That's a lot of speed. Yeah, but that's only because there's no load. So if you, the minute you put a bit of load on the brake, it will just turn to the See? Put the wheel down, see if it moves. See if the bike moves. Oh, so it's not. No. That, that looks scary as hell yeah. when you pick it up, it's actually just spinning really fast. Based, these are torque based controllers, so yeah. it, what it does is um, it tries to reach a top speed all the time. So when you first load it up, it will just go maximum speed because there's no load on it. But when you're on it, it needs the current to push. Is that That's probably a good thing as well when yeah. you're doing jumps off road maybe? Because our motocross bikes and that, you want to keep, you don't want to land with a throttle off. You want to have a bit of speed when you're going. Mind the you, only thing with jumps, it's, it's, to be fair, it's not going to carry enough speed to propel you when you land. No. So yeah. The only thing with jumps is what happens when you come off the air, when you when you kind of go up. Yeah. Then the wheel just goes. Wing. Yeah, it's going to be spinning. That's what I was thinking. That's Fast what made me think well. of it. So yeah, there it goes. Yeah. So you can, you can basically like. Seems like loads, doesn't it? That's high, high speed. Seems like it'd shoot off and. That's almost like the maximum speed. But then, look, you've only got to put a little bit of braking power on. Right. And it just pulls it, it just turns so it's it off. it's constantly got a bit of, yeah. So, that's that. Um, so now we just need to go downstairs, put some shoes on and see if it cuts out. Unless we're going to try in the, we can't really try in the lounge, can we? Best to take it out and ch- test it properly. Yeah, we're not going to really be able to do it, are we? Um, in here. Yeah. Right, let's do it. Right, so. I don't think I'm in the low, am I in the highest gear? No, it should be. That, that probably would have been all right to clean away because it's fairly flat, but. Okay. Let's just try it a few times up and down. Go on then, see if it's any better to start with. Of course, I'm a bit smoother, I think. Is it? Oh, cut out, straight away. Cut out. I think it is because it sort of looks a bit cropped when that's off. That's annoying. Oh well. It's going on. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's really got to be. Really got to be. I bet will it even show up with it flashing? Well, it should do. This fucking leads come out. Yeah, the phase runner is. Currently flashing. It's annoying because yeah, I can't I can't actually connect to it when it goes into that 
fault mode, but that's when you want to see what fault is. You want to see had. what the fault is. You can do it by the number of LEDs flashing on, the, on it. It does a sort of pulse in, in a certain right. time, but we might have to turn this off and turn it back on again. Yeah, we're going to have to turn it back off. Turn it off, right. turn it back on yeah. again. I'm going to try turning the phase current down a bit and just see. Because something just not, is not right here. So that was 3,500 um, rads. I'm going to try turning the... I don't even know if that was worse than it is. I mean, it's pretty bad, but that went off really easy. It was flat ground in the high gear. It's definitely higher, not lower, isn't it? I'd either go 5,000 or 1,000, <laughs> one way or the other. Just try and see how it reacts. I'm just Let's going to try like tweaking the POL one and see if that, see if that helps. So what number was it? Before. 250. And you're gonna so is that PLL what? Because it was up to 5,000. Yeah, PLL, PLL bandwidth. PLL weight bandwidth from what to what? 250 to 1,000. Right. And the one below, have you left that? I've left it, all the other settings exactly the same. So just PLL bandwidth. We're gonna try that, yeah. Yeah. Save and exit though. Try and make sure it's a hundred percent got the settings that we've stored on it. It's crazy, isn't it? Like the amount, the amount of tweaking that you actually have to do on these kind of things to get them working properly. But when they do work, it is worth it. It's just, it's never going to be a plug and play thing. Um, yeah, definitely. All right. All right. All right now. Mind off. You want me to I mean, put I was, the screen in? I think it was a bit of a fluke with, with my one. It's, it, I managed to <laughs> get it. Oh. Nearly. If anything, it's worse. Possibly worse. Okay, isn't it? Yes. Definitely. Is there going to be any differences because you're using a Kirby bike 52 volt battery? Is there any sense I might need Should to change because be. of that? Okay, so I've managed to get it connected now without the. Um, oh, without it. Without having to turn it off. It says instantaneous phase overcurrent, and this is the problem I, I was having. And this is a problem with these controllers that you always get this phase current, over current. You don't get this with Savvatons. I mean, I don't know why. But, mm, interesting. Um, so I am going to try just turning down phase current a bit. See if that helps. Just turn that regen current down as well. Um, Alright, try. Give okay, a minute. Did it cut? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's going not stink. It's going not stink. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, fuck yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> no, I mean the, when you had it before. Is it? Oh um, boy, it hasn't cut out yet, has it? So it's hard to tell. I need to put it under a bit of load now. But, okay. Or starting off in a high gear or something. Yeah. It's gone back to being really clunky starting off, but that is what it is, I guess. Shouldn't but be, like, shouldn't be too I'm, bad. I'm actually going to leave it a slightly higher gear and yeah. accelerate. Like now it will cut off. Yeah, and it has. It's cut off, yeah. That it was trying to start. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure that was better though, wasn't it? More tweakage needed. Why are you out in the flip flops? Why are you not grounding it, Andy? <laughs> you could be using this opportunity to ground yourself yeah, I know. to the earth. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to be grounded actually. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do a reset. What was the last parameter you did that made it better? Turn the phase current down a bit. Try turning it down a bit more. What was? What did you turn it from and to? I 
just knocked it down a bit. What was it in the first place? Um, it was like 80, now it's on 70. Try on 50, just whack it right down just to see if it makes a lot of difference. You can always go back up again, you just want to see what's making a definite difference, doesn't you? That's yeah. the way my mind would work with it. Right. What have you done? I've tried 60. See that. Well, you went 80, 70, and now 60. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. All right, let's try that. When you change gear, take come off the throttle as you're going to strip that rear sprocket. He's gone. <laughs> He's going up the hill. Oh dear. Well, it's still going, so I mean, that's, that's something. It's flying. <clears throat> so that's not cut out yet. I'm in a really low gear accelerator. Really low gear. Really low gear. Let me try to put it around it. I got to the top of that hill and it was in a low gear and it clunked. And it was, okay. It's such a wrong gear that it didn't pull away, but it didn't cut out. It should just throw a wobbly rather than... Yeah, look. It's, it's just throwing a wobbly. It's not... Yeah. Because the gear's wrong. But that's great. That's what you want. This is... That's... So what... This is... Is this PLL... No, oh. amp hours or whatever you're doing. This... That was... Yeah, it's turning the torque down a bit. Um, like the phase current. Is that the only way of doing it? But it's the only way of doing it. But so it's lost a bit of. Oof. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but it's, it's not cutting out. The difference is probably going to be minimal because you're going through the gearbox as well. Should we walk over to that hill and do a few tests on the hill? Yeah, let's do some hill tests. Is that, is that hill? Probably going to fall off. Okay. That's steep. <laughs> <laughs> Good that, isn't it? That's yeah. Pretty, pretty damn impressive to be fair. It's definitely better, isn't it? So, uh, max phase current, oh, max 60 phase amps. Current. Max phase current over here, we've gone from 80 to 70 to 60. It's not cutting out very often now, so we're going to try going up five, yeah? Yeah. Because I've lost a little bit of snap and power. We're trying to get the right balance between cutting out and being annoying. Yeah. So let's try 65 amps. And then I'm going to test it out on this. Big old deal over there. It was so slow that I almost tipped over, yet the bike didn't cut out. So that's incredible the amount of yeah. amount of load that is under and coping with it is unreal. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this thing where it just takes ages to get going. Because I stopped, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. Got a bit of wheel spin then. Yeah, I felt that. I felt that. Hey. That's, that's really impressive. Mate. That's good. Really good. Let's have a go. <laughs> 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 when you walk with it, it's like it's electrically going along. Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 because it's that free wheel, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go up the hill because I've got flip flops on, but I just wanted to say. Oh, mate, come on. I'll put a flip, I'll put, I've got to go barefoot. I'm stabbing the foot on the left hand side. <laughs> All those excuses coming out for his even set off. It's in flip flops, the throttle's on the wrong side. Anything else? Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's <laughs> not. That's not wildly different. It's not wildly different to mine, you see. It's definitely different to how it was. Yeah, you can get, you can get a bit of fun. Oh, so you reckon it's a bit different on the hull? Oh, hell yeah, it just snapped almost like that electric pit bike. I mean, flip flops is not easy. <laughs> Mate, come on, hill climb. Do you know what you need to do? You need to move, not now, but you need to move your throttle over there so that you can use your, your back brake to do the wheelie. I don't wheelie anyway. Right, so, mate, bottom of the hill, come on. Here he goes. Keep. <laughs> oh, did you get? <laughs> did did it did, did it? <laughs> did it chew your shins up? <laughs> Sorry. Mate. I fucking did well to stay up, right? Didn't I? Jesus Christ! Oh, oh fucking hell! Look. Oh, mate. Look at that. Turn around. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right. I didn't see that happening, mate. No. Is that your, did you cut your hair as well? 
And he's slashed up big time. Fate has done him. I was like, it'd be all right in flip flops, mate. To be fair, I don't think it was a flip flops fault. <laughs> no, it was the fact that I had, I've had one too many meals. <laughs> That's oh. hilarious. Oh god, I'm gonna. <laughs> Um, do you know what I was thinking? I'm going to go. That dog's beautiful. Is that our... It's lovely, isn't it? What a lovely dog, American Bulldog. Similar breed to Gabby. <laughs> I'm, I'm, do you know what? I'm so impressed I didn't fall. I thought I'm, gonna go, I'm not going over. I'm not going over. I didn't think that would go wrong because I thought it would just power you up. But yeah. obviously, you. I don't think you're a lot heavier than me, to be fair, because I've definitely got a bit of weight on at the minute. But... I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I lost momentum. I, I, I just leaned over the bars and hoped it'd do it. Yeah. It will spin. It was it was pulling up on that on that first hill. Like it went up and I sort of backed off the throttle a bit and I think that's why I didn't. Quite oh, you just got to keep it on. You've yeah. got to keep it on. I should should I try? Whoa. Should I try in the highest gear? See how fast it goes up this hill from Stansfield. Hey. You have made me want to get my vapour out now. Yeah, he has to do the signature, signature move. Perfect circle. Oh. I'm happy. Yeah. Excellent. So good at getting up hills. This is what we need. Come on, leg, man. Oh. <laughs> it's horrible because you grab it, he just disappears. Yeah. It's like Dougie Lampkin. <laughs> What's the steepest part? Sounds like a motorbike, doesn't it? So it goes. Oh, that's <laughs> We're in as bad as mine. <laughs> I'm getting used to falling off now. I'm getting actually good at it. I should have worn my trainers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Excellent. That was fun. Let's go paddle boarding. Let's do it. <laughs> at least at least he can burn his own tires out now. <laughs> oh, seriously. That's it for this video absolutely loving this vapor now and that like before kind of got an idea of what it was like but yeah the cutting out just causes the cutting out so many problems yeah nuts but that that was you can see in that video how much fun we was generally having on that bike yeah it's much better now like well that's how it should be like you should it should be yeah. you shouldn't get any cutting out but i think that that's the thing with the phase runner it's, it's temperamental you've got to get the settings right and it's a balance between not pushing it too hard but pushing it right up to what you can force out of it do you know what i mean so it's kind of you know, it just, it's just settings really. Yeah. I think the next video we're going to have to do some challenges, maybe get Andy's Vapor out. Yeah, definitely. We need to do a little bit of a head to head. Yeah. Or just go for a rip together. That would just be a blast, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, two Vapors. Because right. like the hub, hub's different, isn't it? Like you couldn't do that, what you're doing there on the, on the hub drive. No, to be fair, like, you couldn't. The but then I think out. I need to revisit this whole hub versus mid because mm. there's still things I prefer about the hub. Yeah, it's yeah. just quieter. It's like an automatic moped almost. Yeah. It's smooth, it's quiet, you ain't got to fuck around with gears, getting the gears Ooh. perfect. Are you out of shot? <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah, and definitely. it's great that now I can actually get out and do some off-roading on this and test mm. its capabilities, which are probably far past what my riding capabilities are. <laughs> yeah. Which is only a, can only be a fun thing, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Got no trouble burning them tyres out there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not so bad on the grass, is it? So, nah. yeah, I think that'd be it for this video, wouldn't it? On, yeah. on, on the old vapor. I'm right out of shot there, aren't I? It's hard to get well, us both like in. I'm so far away, I'm like... Oh. Yeah, um, yeah that, that'll do for this video, I reckon. 
hopefully it's been useful to some of you guys that have got or want to get phase runners like we said in the beginning don't take all these settings as gospel only use them as a guide we're not going to take any responsibilities for your settings or fucking anything up because it is it is just one of them things isn't it where you've got a bit specialist trial, trial and error you know it's it is what it is so uh, yeah hope you like the video guys give it a thumbs up because it helps massively subscribe if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing and we'll see you in a video soon take it easy catch you later catch you later guys